thing I'm most excited about tonight? What do you got? Is this movie trivia game. Um, Alyssa Milano? That is correct. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Matthew Broderick. Trisenatorist no! Tots. Oh no! No! no. Trisenatorist Tots! <laughs> what I said so! Did he drop the board? <laughs> Very close. That's the famous Stallone mug. I want to know if you do yourself the honor of maybe like kind of marrying me. <laughs> that blue fairy thing screw me. Yeah. yeah. Watch Pinocchio. It's the blue fairy guy. Uh, Whoa. Wow. We just went explicit. Wow. Marlon is upset. Dude. Yeah. Don't even look me in the eye. He's he's upset about that blue fairy. He's red in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Harlow. That blue fairy sucks my balls. I uh, I got the right answer. How many, How many points? Bet? I did not bet enough points. What? JT is I win? the winner. I'm a I'm a firm believer in trial and error, and I believe my client is on trial. It's an error. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Riley is your winner, advancing to the next round. <laughs> this is a destruction. <laughs> Mark Jute has no points left, and Mark Riley is the winner. All right, Riley, Damn. you won the entire Ultimate Shimoda, and you get to go. Peace out, Mother S. Hey, what's going on, champ? How are you? Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you. Yeah. How are you so hanging in there? I'm, I'm all right, but talk about you, man. Crushing it. You're having this great run with yeah. teams. You and Bateman are, you know, absolutely yeah. making a name for yourselves. Yeah. You guys. And now yeah. you just, uh, you beat my old ride or die, Drew McWeeny. That's no small feat. It was a tough one, but, uh, but a good victory. Yeah, it was fun. How about you? The commish, commissioner. Yeah. yeah. Was it, 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 is it, it, no? Is it? Everything you thought it was going to be. No, no, not at all. No. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. yeah, you look like you need a nap. Yeah, I do need a nap. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, but hey, I've actually been working on some single stuff for you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how about this? Okay. You, you just played them in teams, hmm? but I want you to take on the In Snyder ah. head to head. What do you think about that? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it too. I think it's gonna be a fun match. Yeah. And check this out. You win that one. Huh? That's two in a row. You got the momentum going, and then uh, you're uh, probably in contention for a title shot. So. Well, there it is. Do me proud. I uh, I will, man. Uh, All right. You know. All right. Hey, you get that now. I will. I don't envy you. I'm sorry. What the hell did I come out here for? Belt polish. I'll get it later. Division yeah. matchup. I am the pit boss, Ken Napsuck. That is Roxy Stryer. Hi, Ken. Hey, Roxy. How are you? We've got <laughs> ourselves, like I said, an inner geekdom division matchup that has been building and building in a short amount of time. This caught on like wildfire. We got Kevin the Smasher, Smets, and the veteran, one of the veterans of this league, the urban gladiator, Jay Washington. Roxy, are you ready for this? 
epic matchup. I, I really am. It's going to be an intense one. And also, just with the amount of geek knowledge going on, I'm ready to get my geek on. You're ready to get your geek on? Yeah. Uh, that sounds like a bumper sticker if there ever <laughs> is one. Here is the story. <laughs> Kevin the Smasher Smets. He is managed by a man only known as Kaiser. If you know your World One history, World War One history, that's a little scary. Um, <laughs> but... Here is the thing. Kevin was a fan, and I don't mean that as a disparaging term. He was a fan of this. He watched it. He studied it. He wanted to be part of this, and he joined the Patreon page, and he auditioned and did not get picked. The chairman said, thank you. No, thank you. You're not ready, sir. So he goes down into uh, what I affectionately call the minor leagues, the fan leagues. He proved his medal there, and he gets called up, and he faces a great charismatic competitor, another rookie, David Moore, and Kevin Smets smashes him. And Moore was looked good, but Kevin just looked like a machine. He is a winter soldier. Even in the face. He looks like he looks like Sebastian Stan and Sebastian Shaw and Mark Hamill all rolled into one. I see that. Um, I see that. He's a talented guy. He knows how to edit videos. Uh, full disclosure, he's worked with me on some videos. I don't want anyone saying I have any favoritism to him, but I am impressed with what he's done. But Roxy, he started taking shots at Hector Navarro, former Inner Geekdom champion. Which is just so above his league at this point. I'm not going to lie. Smets is... A lot of people are talking about Smets right now. Mm -hmm. When you're in the hallway, when you're hearing it, he is the person to watch. But Hector, I mean, he he's the big leagues right yeah. now. For Smets to come out and say that, it's a little disrespectful. Little disrespectful. And you know who thought that was disrespectful? The urban gladiator, Jay Washington. First of all, Jay and Kevin, we could also do a super body pose down like they did in the WWF. Rick Rude, Ultimate Warrior back in the day. These guys hit the gym a lot. But Jay was like, no, no, no. And I think it's because of Jay's pro wrestling background. He says, we do things certain ways around here. There is some locker room etiquette. You do not challenge someone that you do not have the right to challenge yet. And and the war exploded all over social media. Promos. Uh, Jay, when he, he's trying to achieve a supervillain status in the gym at midnight. The guy works out at midnight, Roxy. I he's, see it. He's curling, calling out Kevin, calling out Kaiser, who, who is, is the voice of Kevin as well. And yeah, and they this, went back and forth. Back they were and going forth. At But it. I will say this. As a, as a manager and a, and a student of the managing game, Kaiser, whew, he is he is not afraid. He is he is leading his charge. He has a full uh, full confidence in the smasher there. So that kind of sets uh, sets it up. But I, I think Roxy, we should hear from our competitors today. Uh, let's hear their promotional promos. And your winner. bring Navarro out? Why don't we get somebody out there who can give this kid a challenge? So, wait a whole damn minute. Kevin Smets had a nice impressive victory, but got super cocky too quick. You calling out Hector Navarro? I feel it's necessary to put you in your place. So, here's what I'm going to do. How about I get back in the inner geekdom ring teach him a lesson. your old buddy Kaiser. I just got off a flight at LAX and my driver picked me up, right? I decide to go on to Twitter and see what's popping. And what do I find but big bad Jay Washington. And then Jay did something really stupid. He called out the Smasher. I'm driving down to the Schmodown office to put the Smasher's name on the dotted line. Because if you want blood, baby, we will oblige you. You run your mouth for your boy and you just got here. But here's the thing, I've been here. You just play here. So now you two wanna play this game? Make it official, Christian, Emma, whoever the hell. Let's do this. You know, here I am trying to have a nice relaxing afternoon um, and all of a sudden my mentions start blowing up on Twitter because the two of you are duking it out there. So as the commissioner of the Inner Geekdom League, I accept your proposal to settle this in the Schmodown arena. So can you please stop yelling at each other on Twitter? So we've hit the point where here we are, myself versus 
the munch can do. Jay Washington, this is actually a big day for you. You get to say that you were number two on the murder train when the smasher came through the schmodown. And I got news for you, buddy. It kind of sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. But in this narrative, the smasher plays the Grinch who stole your integrity when he puts you to sleep in two rounds. Dig it. You really wanted to go hard at me on Twitter. You tried to. You tried your best to send little videos. You and the dig- Wait, wait, wait. You guys are like in a Twitter war? Yeah, you'd have known that if you check your tweets. You know, Jay, you weren't even in the picture, but you had to open your mouth. We wanted Navarro, but apparently he's in the witness relocation program because he's nowhere to be found today. I mean, in your last match, you lost to Emma, and you want to go up against this psychopath? Buddy, I got news for you. We're going to mop the floor with your blood today, pal. I walk around with greatness, former movie trivia schmodown heavyweight champion of the world. You walk around with a reject from Alcoholics Anonymous. You walk around with somebody. Wait, does that mean he's still an alcoholic? Yeah, can't you look at him? He doesn't. He only does 40 ounce curls. Like, he just drinks a lot. Listen, our fans know what time it is. We don't care if you're a heel or a hero. You're all just hamburger to us. It's the Smashers time. The old guard, you're on your way out. Kalinowski, Cushing, we don't care. As long as Harloff keeps lining them up, the Smashers going to keep knocking them down. So I got one question for Jay Washington and the rest of the Schmodown. You want extra onions with that loss? Smetch, you won your opening match, your rookie match, and you walking around on cloud nine. You crowning yourself in a geekdom champion already. You ran your mouth to Hector. That's the homie. But it ain't happened, and you ain't got past the gladiator, and you not getting past this one. You and that tight-ass hoodie you have on can go back to the to magical little kingdom wherever you came from. You can go back to looking constipated at home. So when you're done and you catch this L, it's only two things you can do about it. Nothing and friggin' deal with it! Damn it. You called me up, Jay. You are the architect of everything that's about to happen right now. And I know you have your fans here in the Schmodown, you have your fans here in the studio, you got a lot of friends, and I get that. But tonight, they're all going to be let down when I drag you from one side of that studio to the other. Because it's not about friendships, it's not about the fans. Tell us about Kaiser. All business. Is it getting a little hot in here? That was some fire going on. Well, it's kind of like me after seven tacos. The sweats and the chest pain start coming there. I'll tell you what, uh, Kaiser, Kaiser almost has no respect for Jay. And I can tell you, Jay is feeling that lack of respect there. And I love seeing Ethan Irwin, who is a quiet, calm, collected former champion, yelling out the Urban Gladiators a catchphrase. He's earned it. He has earned it, absolutely. So with that, Roxy, I have a little question for you. Are you ready? Yes, I am. And then it's time for the movie trivia. Trivia Let's meet our competitors for today's Inner Geekdom Division matchup. Introducing first. Led to the ring by his manager and advisor, Kaiser, with a record of one win, no defeats, one KO in the Inner Geekdom Division. He is Kevin the Smasher! Look at that, Kaiser. Yes, sir. The smartest thing Harloff ever did was hire you. At the oh, it's a, he, you know what? He's saying nice What's things happening? about him. I like him. What happened to my handshake? I, uh, you no? didn't get it. All Look right. at Smets there. He's coming out there. I don't know superheroes that well. I believe that is Arachno Boy on his thing. Uh, yeah, that's the official Kevin title. is intense. He's intense. You know, he can bench 245, 12 reps real easily. And his opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Representing the Time Machine and the Mad Titan Podcast with a record in the Inner Geekdom Division of one win and two defeats. Please give it up for the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington! <laughs> And not the one that 
what you want to see. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh let's, step, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Okay. okay. Okay, Jay, Jay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Jay knows how it goes. He knows how it goes. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. The Thanos finger, different than the Thanos snap. It's kind of like GoBots versus Transformers, but Jay is ready. I have seen Jay. I've seen the look in his eyes before. This is usually when someone gets their next snap. So Kevin, though, looks confident, too. Uh, by the way, Jay could bench 415, 19 reps at midnight. Gentlemen, let's explain the rules in round number one as we got oh this my intense matchup. These match faces. Yes, these faces. faces. Uh, this looks like my wife after her uh, divorce hearings. Uh, so uh, let's explain the rules, gentlemen. You're going to get 10 questions in round one. I repeat, 10 questions in the Inner Geekdom Division. Categories ranging all over the nerd spectrum. Uh, you can get, if you want, each question will be worth one point. Let me remind you, you do get three JTE rules. That's a chance to repeat the question. Named after the famed Ecuadorian Captain America fan, Josh Tapia. So, let's, uh, if you guys, wow, I don't know. Uh, can we get a referee, maybe a law enforcement officer? This is gonna get intense here. RB3, yeah. grab my handcuffs in my bag. Here we go. They guys, don't care about a word you're saying right do now. Do you understand? Are you ready, Kevin? Ready. Jay. Let me beat this bitch real quick. Oh! Then let's get ready to Shmoda! Hot and heavy already. Woo. Ten questions, gentlemen. First question coming in is in the category of MCU. Which film saw the first appearance of Andy Serkis's Ulysses Claw? Uh, I'm glad we didn't have a fight, Roxy, in that first uh, opening second there. I felt it inside. Five, me. four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Looking for answers starting with J. Avengers Age of Ultron. That is correct for a point, Kevin. Age of Ultron. Age I need of a new marker, too. Ultron there. Uh, question number two, Roxy. Question number two on the category of Star Wars. I got this. <laughs> You're not playing, Ken. In Attack of the Clones, what is the base color of Obi-Wan's starfighter that he pilots to Kamino and then to Geonosis? Good job on that, Geonosis. I almost passed out. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Looking for answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Kevin. Blue. Incorrect. White. Incorrect. Looking for red. Red. He dr flies his. You really red. knew that? Uh, I uh, did know that. His his uh, no. his Jedi starfighter. <laughs> Question three out of ten, gentlemen. Question three out of ten in the category of Middle Earth. Middle Earth. In the desolation of Smaug, which dwarf becomes gravely ill after an orc shoots him with a poisoned? Arrow, arrow, excuse me, arrow. Of all the happens? things I couldn't pronounce, arrow yeah, was the one. Yeah, got through Smaug just yeah. fine. Okay, our answer's in five. Four, three, two, and one. Jay Washington. I hate the Hobbit movies. All right, fair enough. He misses it. Valid, but. Kevin. It's Keeley. It is Keeley. It is Keeley. Two, one lead. Two, one lead. Uh, I would like to say for the record, of course he would know his family members. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jumped fire. Wow. This is wow. intense. Keep talking, buddy. All right, all right. Uh, Roxy, question fourth four? question. Yeah, Keely here we go. was actually tall for a dwarf. In the category of DC, who plays Lois Lane in Superman Returns? All right. Now we're going to... Uh, now this is me. Now you know this one? Yeah. Good for you. The first question you. I've known in years. <laughs> Five, four, three... Two and one. Look for answer starting with the Smasher. Kevin Smets. You can borrow my Netflix password. It's Kate Bosworth. All right. <laughs> Jay Washington. I have my own, but I refuse to watch that movie again. Okay. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One, three, one. Three, one. All right. Fifth question. Fifth question. We are halfway through round number one. Fifth question comes in the category of Marvel. Marvel. Stan Lee has a cameo in which Spider-Man film? in which he tells Peter Parker that one person can make a difference. Uh, is that true? And if it's me. Oh. Okay. oh. Mm. Cockiest I've ever been. Uh, that's all right. You're from Boston. <laughs> Five, four. Repeat the question. 
All right, we got a JT rule there. Stan Lee has a cameo in which Spider-Man film, in which he tells Peter Parker that one person can make a difference. Might be a little strategy on Jay's part there to rerun the options through his brain. I like it there. Looking for answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Jay. Spider-Man 2. Incorrect, Kevin. Spider-Man 2. Incorrect. Looking for Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3. Still very close in the Still numbers. Still very close. It's close, man. It's close. Wow, a lot of applause for him right now. All right, six Question questions. number six. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Can I ask a question, though, and then he can go? Okay. Here we go. Category six, Harry Potter. What kind of creature is sentenced to death for attacking Draco Malfoy in Prisoner of Azkaban? Mm, okay. Um, do you know how many uh, glasses of Butterbear I can drink in one visit to Universal? Seven. Eight, five, Ooh. four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Kevin. Hippogriff. That is correct for point. Damn, I had the Basilisk. I had the wrong one. All right, you did that. 4-1 lead, 4-1 lead. It happens. All right. Seventh question comes in the category of Star Trek. Star Trek. Yes. <laughs> in Star Trek Into Darkness, after attacking Starfleet, Khan flees to Kronos, the homeworld of what alien species? If only they saw how that was spelled. If only. Uh, you know, this is why I like Star Wars better. <laughs> uh, five, four, three, Two and one. J. The Borg. Incorrect. Kevin. Klingon. That's right. That was my second one. That Five was my second one. one. Five to one. That was my second one. Fuck. AKA the Wrath of Kaiser. Kaiser. Oh. All right. Can we? Get I'm, I'm over him. Get, uh, get uh, yeah. Uh, Question number eight in the category of DCEU. Who played Victor Stone in Justice League? See, now I'm getting all the DC questions. You, this is what you do. This is for me. You DC movie news Roxy over there. It's true. All right. Looking for answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens are down. Kevin. Ray Fisher. That is correct. Ray Fisher. That is yeah. correct. Six Good two, point. six two. Jay Good Hedder. points, guys. All right. Interviewed him. Very nice guy. Good for you. Good for you. Ninth question. <laughs> ninth question comes in the category of heroes and villains. Heroes and villains. What is the name of the aquatic empath from the Ron Perlman Hellboy films? We're looking for the first and last name. I don't even know what I just asked. Yeah, honestly, it was a little lost on me, too. It's a fever dream I just had. Mm. How you feeling? Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Jay. I didn't have it. Not, did not have it. Abe Sapien. That is correct. I Abe Sapien is the answer. 7 Abe. 2, 7 2. That's a ball. That's a ball. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Final question in this round, Roxy. Final question. Yep. Question 10. It's a mixed bag. In 2014's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who provided the voice of Leonardo? Mixed bag. You never know what Mixed, you're going to get. You, you never know. It's kind of like uh, uh, you know, turtles on a half shell there. Uh, Jay's got to get this one or to keep pace there, but anything can happen in round two. So Five, true. four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Kevin. Johnny Knoxville. That's correct. Jay. I'm with Corey Feldman. I didn't Corey watch Feldman. Let's do a I dance mean, like Corey Feldman. I can see All it. All right. Where are his angels, though? Yeah. All we right. We are going to round two. Round two is the one here. that uh, the, 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 the wheel round. The wheel is a fickle mistress sometimes. Both uh, managers and uh, valets and friends uh, heading up to talk to their opponents there. Roxy's be going around two. Anything can happen because it's the wheel round. The wheel of death. The wheel of death. Or the life. wheel of doom. The wheel of death. Today, depending, here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna spin. You will got. You guys are gonna get five questions. By the way, you'll get two chances to get a category you like. But spinner's choice and opponent's choice are on the wheel. So if you hit those, you get stuck with that, or you get to receive that gift. Uh, we'll remind you that two point questions are on the table here. Unless you want multiple choice, then you get one point. You will have a chance to steal 
in this one. Uh, you, Jay, have used one JT rule. Kevin, you have three remaining. With that said, Kevin, you are in the lead. It is your choice to spin first or defer. I will defer. He's going to put the pressure on Jay Washington. Okay. Jay, let's give it a big spin here. I feel like Jay likes the pressure, though. Jay does like pressure. He likes putting on pressure. He likes staring down. Kevin's still here. Yeah. Doesn't whoa. even look. He's look. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The Tension. stare down. What's the score? Oh, who, uh, What's the score, Jay? Kevin's looking at the scoreboard here, but the wheel is going it's around. It's 8-2, Jay. And around. Good spin. Good spin. And around. Jay. It is coming down to it will be Marvel, Marvel movies. movies. All right. Marvel movies. Jay is sticking with it. Jay is sticking with it. Roxy, would you like to ask the five questions? We'll see how I do. We'll do our very best. Here we go, Jay. First question. In 2000's X-Men, what is Rogue's real first Marine. name? Two points there. No hesitation. Back in the game. Didn't Back even in blink. The game. Didn't even blink. Question number two. What name does the devil go by in 2007's Ghost Rider? Multiple choice. Is it A, Mephisto, B, Blackheart, C, Caretaker, or D, Blackheart? <laughs> <laughs> Black heart. That's Mephisto. incorrect. That's <laughs> Mephisto for a one point steal. Over. One point steal. One point steal. Yeah. Black heart. Yeah. Black heart's the sign. Yeah. His, his buddy. All right. Third All right, question out of five. Third question out of five. Question number three. What university does Peter Parker attend in Spider Man 2? Spider Man questions today. Is it Black Heart? <laughs> Not an option. <laughs> Multiple choice. Is it A, New York University, B, Manhattan, Univer uh, Manhattan College, C, Columbia University, or D, Rutgers University? Columbia University. That's correct for a point there for Jay. Fourth question, fourth question. Question number four. In Deadpool 2, what supervillain teams up with Russell after breaking out of police custody? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Juggernaut is the one. Two points. That two is points. correct. Final question in this round. Can Jay tie it? Question five. In X2 X-Men United, after escaping Stryker's raid on the mansion, what pop song plays loudly when Pyro turns on the radio in Cyclops' car? Multiple choice. Is it I A? I can't roll. Is it A, bye bye bye, B, wannabe, C, everybody, Backstreet's back, or D, baby, one more time? Backstreet's back. No, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Bye bye bye. That is correct. That is bye correct. bye bye. <laughs> One point still for Kevin. It is 10-7, though. Jay did pull to uh, to striking distance, but Kevin gets to spin here and see if he can take a lead. Kevin, go ahead and give the wheel a spin. Please spin from the wheel or use your mind, just not the pegs. I can't see those pegs fly anymore. <laughs> Kevin walking away, a lot of nervous That's energy. It's like a fighter. Ooh. You never know with this wheel, though. There we go. Ooh. Could it be Harry Potter? Okay. Harry Potter. Let's see how he does Potter. here. All right. First question out of five coming in for you here now, Kevin. What location does the secret tunnel under the Whomping Willow lead to, first used in The Prisoner of Azkaban? That is mm -hmm. correct for two points there. All right. Second question out of five is, who is the Quidditch captain for Gryffindor in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Oliver Wood. Oliver Wood, no hesitation there. All right, this is the third question. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Newt brought a Thunderbird to the United States to release. What was the name of Newt's? Two points there, two points there. 
Fourth question here. Jay's looking for a steal. He does need it. Fourth question, Kevin. Who plays the completely despicable and vile Dolores Umbridge? Amalda Staunton. Two more points wow. there. Guess Harry Potter's a strength. All right. Fifth and final question in the Harry Potter category here. A lot is on the line. Jay needs to steal. If uh, Kevin hits this, uh, we might be shouting to the rooftops here. Final question. In The Half-Blood Prince, who was Ginny Weasley dating before kissing Harry in the Room of Requirements? Can you repeat the question? In The Half-Blood Prince, who was Ginny Weasley dating before kissing Harry in the Room? Dean Thomas. And Joe Over that one there. Wow. Ethan Common to console Jay. Wow, Ken. That's how he Final got his score. name. Woo. Smasher. Final score of 20 to 7. Let's give it up for Jay. Give it up for Jay. Um, the crowd. They're loving crowd Jay. crowd definitely behind Jay Washington. They, they've grown to love Jay Washington, especially after his live appearance in New York. So Jay still has a lot to give here in the Schmodown. You can sense it from the fans, but this was uh, a, 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 tough, a tough loss, but a big win for Kevin, Roxy. I mean, that wheel round was just insane. He yeah. didn't even blink. He didn't even, it just was question after question. How do you top that? You can't. It's very tough to top that, but you know what? Uh, let, let, let's, let's stop talking about it ourselves. Yeah. Let's hear what the players have to say. They're back with Jen Sturger right now. Thanks, guys. I'm backstage with Jay Washington, the Urban Gladiator, and Ethan Irwin. Oh. I could tell you were beating yourself up there. I, I saw you pulling for answers that you had. That I knew. I, that you they know, just didn't come out. And I, you know what? That's a part of the game. That's a part of the game. It happens. You have answers on the tip of your tongue. I knew Abe Sapien. I couldn't remember it. The damn Bye 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 to between Backstreet Boys. I was like, I knew it was one of those pop songs. I couldn't pull it. But you know what? Let me just break this down. Yeah, I called him out because this is about respect. I've been here. We've been doing this a certain way. The kid's the real deal. I get it. I give him credit. The idiot he's with is still an idiot. Still not a fan. And I Kaiser, still huh? am the Mad Titan. Check out the podcast. But you know, <laughs> just, just this is so creepy. <laughs> but no, are you patting me? Yes. You're patting me. That's Great. Right. So yeah, obviously not a huge fan of Kaiser. No, like I said, I you know what I give him credit. I give him credit. He he did his study. He knew his game. He he landed Smets, on what he wanted. Not Kaiser. Yeah, because Kaiser doesn't know how to study. He doesn't know how to read. It's clear and evident he doesn't know how. It is clear as day he's illiterate. It is clear as day he needs to be hooked on phonics one two three four all the way to thirty seven. It is evident that he is remedial. It is clear as day he was in the special classes. It is clear and proof that he was in those classes in the buildings behind the regular high school. It is just proof of that. Look at him. Yeah. And what about you, Ethan? Got anything? I mean, Kaiser is human garbage, for sure. Um, but look, it was, you know, it's a tough loss. I've been there recently. It sucks. We pick ourselves up. We keep on going. I learned that from you, my friend. And, and watching you, I've learned that from you. And I'm not, I'm not going to hold my head down on this. Yeah, I'm like one in four in Intergeekdom. But guess what? I'll say this to the internet, to people watching. Shush. I'll say this to people watching. Yeah, you, you thought he, you knew he was going to do what he did. But guess what? I didn't go down just without swinging. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep coming back in this inner geekdom every damn chance I get. And just another match means more watching, more reviewing, more studying, and coming for that little pipsqueak's ass one more again. Yeah, one more again. That's a hood thing. I swear for Lord. Kevin Smets, you got another one coming. Congratulations on your win. I'll give you that. But this next ass whooping is guaranteed, damn it. I, I don't we got it. We got it. I don't. I this. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm back with Kevin Smasher. All right, Smets, you're 2 0 now. Obviously, you're making a name for yourself here in the inner geekdom. Took down Jay Washington. Um, it was a bold move. Came in here and made a statement. 
what are you doing? Like, what's next? Jen, the real story is somebody call Rachel Cushing. Maybe send her a text. Get her in the building. We take her right now if she's available. <laughs> Rachel Cushing? Why not? I don't know, because she's an inner geekdom legend. She's kind okay. of a heavyweight around Jen, here. Jen, we don't care who you are. If you're at the bottom or you're at the top, we want everybody. We're taking them all out. Good, bad, champion, no champion. Whoever Fife puts in front of us, he's going to smash. Okay, so um, maybe we work our way up, though, to Rachel Cushing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I... Well, apparently Navarro's in the witness relocation program. No one can find him. We yeah. asked for him. We haven't heard back from Hector. It's, it's true. Um, is there anyone else that you've been looking for? Look, I told... I, he does the talking for me. I come in here. I told everybody that I would win. I told people on social media that I would win. And I won, and now I'm 2-0, two, oh, two knockouts. I have him in here to speak for me because I need to focus on the next victim. I have called out Hector Navarro. Jay called me out, I didn't call Jay out. And now Jay got knocked out. And I called out Hector Navarro and you're asking me who else I want to, I don't want to face Hector Navarro. And if that's not there, then the next person up the line and then, and then, and then. If it's Kalinowski, if it's Cushing, it doesn't matter because I'm here to win. Just give me someone to play and I will win. And what about all of this stuff that, you know, people are kind of getting fed up with your your voice, man. You know, like Kaiser's kind of making a, I don't know, he's getting reputation for kind of being a, an asshole. I'm not Kaiser's babysitter, okay? I, I come in here and I'm focused. I come from a sports background and he comes in here to do all the talking for me. When I walk into this studio, all I am is focused on the next thing, the next question, the next round. So I'm not here sitting, talking, answering questions, sending videos back and forth. That's what he can do while I focus on the next match and no one's giving me him at Navarro, so I don't know what, who's next. Can you pass along a message to Christian for me? Sure. Stop going to sleep studies to find our opponents and maybe we'll get some real competition. All right, there you go, Jay. Uh, you know, it, it seems like he's okay after the loss. He doesn't want to lose that, that, no doubt about that. I think, again, nice to see Ethan Irwin there and his side kind of yeah. uh, sticking with him here. You know, Ethan's coming off a big loss too. It isn't about the losses. It's how you get back up and go for the next wins there. But Jay, very clearly not a fan of Kaiser. Though, and I Roxy. kind of am getting why. He kind of understand. He comes in hot. He does come in hot there. But let's talk about Kevin Smets. This was uh, about not, uh, maybe making his name and, and earning some some respect. Uh, Roxy, uh, do you think he has it? Because he made a big call uh, call out there. I know. He keeps coming after Hector. And at first, I said he, he hasn't earned it. But this definitely gets him one step closer. We just watched what he is capable of. And I don't know. If I was Hector, I definitely would be looking out for Smets. You know, Hector hasn't uh, been around these parts for a while. He is a former champion. He wanted to take a little bit of break. I don't know what's going on in his mind. He's, he's a hard cookie to, to, to read sometimes. A hard cat to read. A cookie is what's on my mind because I'm hungry. But I love cookies, um, too. I'm, I'm very curious if Hector wants to do this, uh, if he feels like he needs to. But uh, it seems, though, like Kevin, he's going to he and Kaiser are going to make this happen. And they're going they want to go. They want to go all the way to San Diego Comic-Con. They are eyeing Rachel the Crusher Cushing, which, you know, to even consider yourself ready at this point, that takes a lot of guts because we know what Rachel can do, Roxy. Oh, let's not kid ourselves, though. We can't call him even close to Rachel at this point. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. <laughs> no. So um, that was a big matchup there, Roxy. It's always good to have you here at the desk. Uh, we have a lot of things going on here in the movie Trivia Schmodown. This was an inner geekdom division matchup today. We got the teams. We got the singles. We got the live events. I hope you're going to TriviaSD.com. Uh, William Bibbiani and his team of writers really work hard to give you the stats and stories behind everything you're watching here. So please check that out. And if you want to be a Patreon supporter, go to Patreon.com slash Schmodown. And Roxy, the live events are really fun. Yeah, they're awesome. And speaking of which, get your ticket it's at theshmodownlive.com because we've got something coming up that's at least a thousand miles away from you. We've got I, so many we things. we got a lot. I'll tell you what, I love it because it gives me a chance to drink at hotel lobby bars, but we got a lot of events coming. Check out and stay tuned here. That is it. Big win for Kevin. We'll see what's next for Jay. For Roxy, I'm the Pit Boss Cat Napsack. We'll see you all next time on the movie Trivia Schmodown.